This is a video abstract regarding the publication, a radio nano platform for T1, T2, dual mode positron emission tomography, PET, and magnetic resonance, MR, imaging. Recently, we have published a paper on demonstrating a chelate free nano platform for incorporation of diagnostic and therapeutic isotopes. One of the major advantages of this radio labeling platform is that it is chelate free. Current radio pharmaceuticals are limited by the different chelate chemistry and the radio cations. However, with our radio labeling technique, we can radio label an FDA approved nanoparticle, ferroheme, FH. With a range of diagnostic and therapeutic radioisotopes utilizing heat induced radio labeling technique, HIR, without the use of a chelator. The aim of the current paper was to utilize our chelate-free radio-labeled nanoparticle platform for simultaneous PET-MR that not only provides contrast-enhanced diagnostic imaging, but also provides significant image quality gain from integrating the high spatial resolution of MR with the high sensitivity of PET. Ferrahim was radio-labeled with a PET tracer, Zirconium-89, using our HIR technique. Radiochemical yield, RCY, and purity, RCP, were measured using size exclusion chromatography and radio thin layer chromatography. Radiochemical analysis demonstrated a high RCY of 92% and RCP of 98% of the zirconium-89 ferroheme product. Transmission electron microscopy characterization of labeled ferroheme was carried out using the non-radioactive isotope zirconium-90. The analysis confirmed that the zirconium-90 atoms adsorb onto the ferroheme nanoparticle core surface as shown by a 10% increase in the average radial transmission profile. Ferroheme has a superpowered magnetic iron oxide core of approximately 6 nanometers in diameter, which, in the presence of the MR magnetic field, becomes magnetized and induces a localized magnetic field around the nanoparticle. Ferroheme is often used to enhance dark contrast against tissue by virtue of its ability to quench the MR signals by shortening the transverse spin-spin relaxation time, thus can act as a T2 contrast agent. However, ferroheme can impact the spin lattice relaxation time of the surrounding water protons, and thus can also act as a T1 contrast agent. The T1 enhancement of ferroheme can be attributed to several possible factors, such as increased surface ion core exposure due to high surface area to volume ratio, the surface effect on magnetization and water exchange, and suppressed magnetization at lower iron concentration. Thus, ferroheme has a relatively high R1 and R2 values and can act as a dual T1, T2 contrast agent. A relaxometric map derived from the fast spin echo MR phantom images at different echo time and repetition times demonstrates that positive contrast, white gray shaded area, can be achieved at short echo times up to 40 milliseconds, with repetition time up to 1000 milliseconds. Negative contrast, dark gray area, can be achieved at high echo times, up to 90 milliseconds, with a repetition time up to 3000 milliseconds. Simultaneous PET-MR imaging was performed with different zirconium-89 ferroheme concentrations for the T1 scans. The signal-to-noise ratio, SNR, of the MR images were analyzed to determine the T1 and T2 contrast-enhancing properties of ferroheme. Furthermore, the relative contrast to water was defined in terms of the difference between the mean image intensities of the phantom vials containing the ferroheme contrast relative to that of the water-only vial, compared against the theoretical value shown by the dashed line. The relative contrast image analysis showed that zirconium-89 ferroheme can act as a dual-mode T1-T2 contrast agent. The full width at half maximum of the line spread function were calculated before and after co-registering the PET and MR image data. Simultaneous PET-MR scans confirmed the capability of the zirconium-89 ferroheme nanoplatform for this multimodal imaging technique. When the MR and PET images are combined in a complementary manner, a higher spatial resolution, the full width at half maximum enhanced by a factor of approximately 3, and SNR enhanced by a factor of approximately 8, for co-registered PET-MR images can be achieved while using a clinically relevant dose of radioisotope and iron. This is an ongoing collaboration work between the University of Sydney and Harvard Medical School investigators.